Squad, get out! Hello, tankers and tankettes. Welcome to another one of my own replays. Today, it's gonna be a, a lesser seen tank, the Matilda Black Prince, although that name is a bit of a misnomer on Wargaming's part, because I think this thing existed as like a one-off project, but uh, they've called it Black Prince for reasons, because of reasons. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know really what to call it. It's probably one of these ones that had just like a bunch of numbers as a designation, but I, I prefer Chrom Tilda. Because <laughs> it kind of is. Um, so, yeah, it's tier 5 premium. It's basically a Matilda hull with effectively a Cromwell turret and a six pounder gun. And, uh, whoops, yeah, well done there, Crusader. What it plays most like, uh, basically a mini Churchill 3. It's the same pew pew nature, it carries less ammo, it's a bit slower, but it's the same tier. And it'll, also it's a premium. The only real major difference between the two is basically hit points and this one is a medium as opposed to the Churchill 3 being a um, uh, heavy of course. Now you'll notice my... Um, I'll actually just go into... yeah th this is the bug that post 8.8 .8 has... Uh, now why isn't it letting me zoom out there? Yeah it's kind of annoying. There we go. All older replays are now affected by this. I've been able to once or twice successfully record replays and it looks normal. I don't know why those particular replays worked and the rest didn't. I'm just going for a peek at the moment. Scout Matilda, why not? But yeah, so this is why I'm having to do it in free camera mode because it, it's buggy as all hell at the moment otherwise. So basically now me and a Panzer IV are holding this flank. And it's not too bad because we're both top tier, just depends what we're facing. The other flank is that's got all our heavies, so they're pushing quite nicely there. You'll notice the reticle isn't my usual reticle marker either, but that seems to have also been affected by the bug. I basically can't change that setting, so it's stuck at this. So there's a KV1 making a push, and the Churchill 3 is making a push over the, the side there. So I decided to move up on the KV-1 because I'm going to have nice shots into his side armor there. And with my rate of fire, it's low damage, but uh, look at this. And the thing I like about these 75 mil guns is if you're shooting someone's fuel tanks or engine repeatedly, there's a good chance that you'll actually manage to set them on fire as there. So this is a bit more tricky, it's Churchill 3, his rate of fire is as good as mine. He's got more hit points than I do. But not that many more, he's only got 90 more hit points. And I basically need to get to cover. And I'm actually bouncing some shots there, so... The armor on this thing, even at tier 5, it's still okay, but... It's got, if you look at the front there, it's got plenty of... It's got a, a big flat shelf, as it were. But um, it's not that hard to, to penetrate for a, a lot of guns you'll encounter. Now that Stug, unfortunately... Uh, died but he did at least manage to do some damage to the Churchill 3 so it's a, a lot more of an even playing ground at this point. We're very um, evenly matched in terms of hit points so it's just whoever has the better rate of fire. So I get the first shot. There we go. Oh, just Look at this, we're just pounding away at each other. <laughs> so that's why I say this thing's like a mini Churchill 3 because it's the same gun, it's the same rate of fire, it's the same firepower and uh, you see I took a few shots there but um, I don't know he didn't seem to be shooting my turret that much but I'm not quite sure why most of those were going and they're very small holes so they could have been APCR I'm not sure that's expensive in a Churchill 3 any six pounder gun it was expensive before they increased the cost of premium ammo after they increased the cost of premium ammo it's even more expensive because these are very very low damage shells there I think it's like 75 80 damage per shot and it costs 2800 so it's really quite expensive for the amount of damage you get. So I'm going to sneaky shot into that Stug down there. We're basically one at this point. It just uh, depends if uh, I'm going to get more stuff to shoot at. And that D2 is very obliging, he comes to me. There's a bit more damage. And oh, uh oh, T34. 
he could hurt me. He does get one into me, and his rate fires as good as mine, but I managed to beat him to the punch. So there we go, five kills, 1400 damage. That was okay. Like I said, it wasn't an amazing match, but it was my mastery bas badge first class. I did an okay amount of damage. I got a sniper medal, I got a, a Spartan medal, because I, I dinged that. Uh, <laughs> it was a bit, you know, I didn't really deserve that medal. It was a D2 that shot me at that health, so of course it was going to bounce. But, you know, best score of the team, most damage of anyone on the team, I pretty much held that flank. With a bit of help, you know, I couldn't have done it purely on my own. But on the whole, I thought that was an okay match. What are my impressions of the Matilda Black Prince? Just briefly, it's okay. It's really neither one thing or the other. If you want, if you, you know, if you can, if you like that fast rate of fire gun and the limited matchmaking and the, the whole, you know, you don't mind the whole slow tank thing, then actually you're better off with a Churchill 3 unless you're really desperate for a medium British crew trainer. Uh, it, it, it's... It doesn't do anything that the Churchill 3 doesn't do better. Or, uh, you know, if you're desperate for a premium medium at tier 5, it doesn't do anything that the T25 doesn't do better. So it's kind of really neither one thing or the other. It's a bit of a novelty, but it's okay. It's not an awful premium by any means. So, uh, if you uh, liked this, you can leave a comment, you can hit the like button, you can subscribe to my channel, and of course, as always, stay tuned for more.